Hi folks. Second part of a two-part video devoted to determining how firms decide what resources to buy. Before we finish the video, let's recap some of the material that we've gone over in the previous video. First step that we have to take in analyzing how firms decide uh, what resources to buy is we have to figure out the marginal product, how much more output an added unit of input will generate. Sometimes that's called marginal product and sometimes that is called marginal physical product. Second step, as we uh, talked about in the previous video, is to figure out <clears throat> how much the additional output is actually worth to the firm, and that is a concept and a figure known as marginal revenue product, or MRP. MRP can be found by multiplying the marginal product or the marginal physical product by the marginal revenue. In this video, we're going to take a look at steps three and four. Step three, we're going to figure out exactly how much the additional input will cost the firm. We figured out how much revenue it will generate. Now we have to figure out how much each additional in unit of input is going to cost. And then we figure out how many units of input to actually hire. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and spoil the plot here, though. But just to give you conceptually that the uh, if, if the revenue generated by the last unit of input is greater than the cost of that, that unit of input, then the, the firm should buy the resource. Uh, it, and uh, if the mar revenue generated by the last unit of input is less than the cost of the last unit of input, then the fir firm should not buy. Uh, in general, the, the firm wants to purchase units of input up until the revenue, revenue generated by the last unit of input is exactly equal to its cost. Uh, it's a, a similar com uh, concept to uh, when we discuss the internal workings of a firm where we set the optimum and profit maximizing rate of output to marginal cost equal marginal revenue. It's the same type of concept. Let's see how it works. First we have to figure out man marginal costs and then we have to figure out exactly how much of a resource to purchase. So figuring out marginal costs, you see here I've employed a two-paint analysis now to, to determine that. I've looked at the resource market on the left-hand side and the situation faced by the individual firm on the right-hand side. The vertical axis is the price of a resource in both cases, and our horizontal axis is the quantity of the resource, again, in both cases. Um, we take a look at a price of 150 up to 300 So resource market... Uh, supply and demand for resources uh, determines its price, and here the demand for the resource and the, and the supply for the resource intersect at a price of 150. Now, what that means for the individual firm, we're assuming a perfectly competitive uh, resource market, and so that means that we have an, an infinite number of uh, buyers and sellers, and they're each uh, selling uh, identical quality and quantity. Of of uh, of in uh, of a particular resource, and if, if that is the case, then um, the the firm can buy all the units of resource that it wants to at uh, the market price of the resource. But because uh, there are an infinite number of buyers and sellers, that means the actions of each individual buyer and seller cannot affect what what happens in the market. And if that's the case, then the firm has to take the selling price of the resource. In this case, it has to take the price of 150. So we know our labor is going to be costing us 150 per each unit of labor. So then we're going to put it all together. Go back to our schedule. We're going to uh, graph our marginal revenue product, which we've taken from our previous video, and then we're going to put in our marginal factor cost, which is just the cost associated with an additional unit of input. And uh, we see then that the marginal fixed cost curve intersects the marginal revenue product curve at about five and a half. So that means that the firm should apply, should employ the fifth unit of input, the fifth accountant in this case, but not the sixth. So our rule, our firm hires resources until the marginal revenue product of that resource equals the marginal factor cost. So that's how uh, resources decide how many units of, uh, of input to obtain. We'll see you soon.